Good morning everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and I told a couple of my viewers on Facebook that I would do a tutorial on how to create a shadow um, for like a title of a scrapbook page. So that's what I'm going to do. Right now you're seeing my mat in the Silhouette Studio software and you're not going to be able to see the whole entire program because I want to be able to get as close as I can. So we're just going to do a pretty simple um a pretty simple little tutorial or whatever. Um if you'll notice when you're you working with your program on the left side of your screen there is a A as in the letter A and then on the top right hand corner there's also another A. Um those are your font buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on one. I'm going to click on my screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type Happy Birthday. Okay. And then I've got that like that. I'm going to go over and I'm just going to, I have the whole thing. You want to highlight the whole entire um, title. Right click it. And then you're going to see the offset feature. Okay. And then I actually go over to the right side and it says offset distance. And I'm going to change that from the 0.25, which would be your quarter inch. See the offset um, is right over here. This is where I'm working. A little bit, let me see if I can just move you over just a tad bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and put it to 130. I don't like a big shadow on my, with what I'm working with. I don't like a big, huge shadow. So that's how I'm doing this one. Now I'm going to click on my words and drag it off. And then this will be your shadow. So you'll cut this first, and then you'll cut out your letters. Let's say you want to do it. Uh, let's see. Let's do like Happy Easter. Oops. Okay, and then it's all as one, you know, straight across or whatever. So then you right click and you hit offset. Go over to your offset distance and change it to 0 0.130. Okay, now it's two separate two separate words and then you're going to cut out your letters once again. You See how I'm doing that? And then you can see these little bitty marks in here. If you want to get rid of those you're going to right click. You're going to select release compound path. Go back up and click on those dots and just hit your delete button. Delete them out. Those are going to be little circles or whatever that are going to cut out um, when you uh, go ahead and print, uh, cut it out, which when they're that small like that, I just delete them out because it's not even going to cut a hole anyways. Um, but that is just a really quick tutorial on how I create the shadows for my titles. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment or you can head over to my Facebook page at Creative Cricut Designs and ask me there. So I thank you very much for watching and have a great day.